it's amazing how many choices we still have to make, you know, good or bad, you know. Uh, and what we discover also that in this perfect set of circumstances with Adam and Eve, unbelief was able to, to start settling uh, in their hearts, okay. Uh, the, um, um, just as um, I was, I was uh, reading one message, he said when God created uh, Adam and Eve, they failed to put a boundary between themselves and uh, the, uh, the other animals of the world, because everybody was just um, going around. If they had put a boundary, Satan would not be able to come to Eve when um, Eve, when um, Adam was not around. You understand? Yeah. Right. He wouldn't have been able to penetrate. Uh, as in, there was a man that was slashing, um, like speaking to people, he said, just as your marriage, your home, right. if you want to have a perfect home, don't allow visitors to come to your home. Right. He said, because um, Adam had be allowing visitor to come, that was why serpent went when he was not her right. Yeah. So he right. said, if you have a visitor, give him a guest house. Right. He said, the moment you allow third party to come into your home, mm -hmm. then you have a last serpent to come in. So you can't expect anything to happen. Okay then, right. I know, I know what you're saying as well uh, about the, the, you know, the... He said the, they refused the, the, to put a boundary. The, 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 the boundary as well. But remember this, the scripture says that the serpent, you know, was more subtle than any creature or beast the Lord God had made. So... But and the Lord, you know, as he knock, just if a visitor mm -hmm. is coming to your home, he will knock the door. If you have not been opening the door for people, you won't open. Yeah. And the servant have knock, and if did not open the door, he yeah. can't come in. Yeah. Well, th th this is this is actually what actually happened because uh, the, the the serpent the serpent is already there. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got, uh, for example, we've got Adam. Adam's given Adam's been given the law, which is of every tree of the garden. You may freely eat of the tree of knowledge and good and evil. It's, that's the one where there's a there's a boundary on that tree. Okay? You cannot touch that, you know. You you can't take fruit of that tree and partake of it. So so uh, so Adam he, he's he's given that word. It's that area is a is a no zone. Okay, it's an absolute no zone. Okay? So, but the Bible says that the serpent was more subtle than any creature the Lord God had made. So the serpent, I mean, Eve was having a wee kind of conversation, you know, with the serpent, you know. And the serpent was to subtly putting these seeds of, of doubt, you know, in Eve's mind, you know. Maybe it was not prayerful enough. You know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But th th this, is, this is what, what was happening. You know, with, with the the with with the boundary here, is the Eve was probably too close to the tree. You know, too close to the tree. Now, the scripture says in First Timothy chapter two, verse five. Now, some some of you women may like this one. You know, you you may really rejoice in this one. It says Adam was not deceived. Yay! <laughs> One hundred. <laughs> <all. laughs> but he was deceived. Yeah. Because if he did, if I, if it was not deceived by him, only he would have faced the punishment. No. Adam was not deceived, right? <laughs> the Bible says the woman being deceived, right, being in transgression, right? Because remember, she had already, she had already the, the seeds were already planted. She had already been deceived by the serpent. She had already taken the fruit. Right, and then passed it on to her husband, okay, who also took and partook of that fruit as well. So the woman being deceived, being in transgression, Adam had greater understanding of the word. The word was given to Adam. The command was given to Adam. And Adam was entrusted with that one command Adam, as the priest, man of the home, should have uh, properly communicated that command to his wife.
But obviously, somewhere there is a failure to communicate that one law that would uh -huh. have saved them. Okay? Does everybody understand that? Yes. Right. So, if I was to go back to this uh, question at the start, I'm going to give you a scriptural answer. Why did God allow man to sin? I am going to give you a scriptural answer. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 7. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 7. Seven. Okay. And uh, Ephesians chapter two and verse seven. Just hold that for a moment. Just hold that one there for a moment. Okay, and this really says it all. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making it sure it's the right scripture, okay? So Chrissy, how would you like to read Ephesians chapter 2 verse 7? That in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Jesus Christ. And there we have it right there. That in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness to us through Jesus Christ. Regardless of what took place, you know, in Genesis and the in history past, in the mind and purpose of Almighty God, there was a plan already in motion. Even before, even before there was sin, you know, there was already a plan. Because om, omniscient God already see, he, he could already see ahead of time. And I think that's a wonderful piece of scripture uh, right there. Okay, uh, for time's sake, okay, time is, is getting away, so there are three things that I want to just give you, and again these are on your notes, and it just simply says that sin is threefold. Sin is threefold. Okay, number one, Pride, unbelief, and disobedience. Okay? Pride, unbelief, and disobedience. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, pride is the original sin. That's the original sin. Right, and this again, this is where we can bring Ezekiel 28 and Isaiah 14. We can connect that with this. Because Lucifer exalts himself. He reaches for uh, deification. Okay? And that's pride. Unbelief. Very quickly, very quickly. The Bible says that whatsoever is not of faith is sin. That's a very strong piece of scripture right there. John chapter 16 and verse 9. The Bible says that he would judge the world of sin. And then it says, because they believed not in me. They believed not in me. Okay. And then the third one, which is the last one, is the word disobedience. Each of these words, they, they fall into, pl into place. Disobedience is the act itself followed as a natural result of the other two. Okay? Now, there's something I want to read to you in closing. Okay? And this kind of summarizes some of these things. Uh, but I just want to actually read this to you, okay? It is not the exercise of free will that is sinful, but the pride of his being and the rebellious ambition. All of God's creatures had always followed his will. Then came the transgression against divine will, which ushered in the first sin and made the basis for every sin to follow. 
Satan's basic problem is pride and self-exaltation. This is the essence of all sin and the root of secular humanism today. Man has a desire to be without the law, to possess without any limit, to enjoy without restraint, and to rise to power unequaled. Okay? And I really think that that just kind of summarizes not only Lucifer's place, but also what can actually uh, happen uh, to mankind. But thankfully, uh, you and I, you know, as Christians, you know, endeavoring to do better, you know, endeavoring to, to reach for, for greater things. As I said in the, the previous class, we're not in this by ourselves. We're not in this by ourselves. God did not leave us uh, to our own devices. And thank God for this. You know, He, he is with us. He is, he is in us on the inside, empowering us, giving us the, the ability to overcome obstacles, to overcome the sin in the world. You know, not to be sinless, but to... Uh, not to be, you know, to not to be sinless creatures, but to sin less, right? And to endeavour uh, to be like the Lord Jesus Christ. And I put it to everybody today that God has given us His. We have His grace. We are freely justified, you know, uh, through faith. We have faith, you know. We, we, are, we are not saved through works of righteousness. You know, we can lean on the Lord Jesus Christ. We have repented of our sins, water baptized His name. We have received His, His Spirit and His power. We, uh, we walk with Him. We walk in Him. And, uh, you know, it's just to let you know that Jesus Christ, He is... He is the sinless lamb. He is the sinless lamb. And he will help us, you know, when we need that help. He will help us when we need that help. So, just before everybody goes, uh, next month, uh, the end of the month, will be the test for Bible doctrine. And... Uh, Again, it will be a matter of looking over uh, everything thus far. But the, the two important things that I want you to actually look at is, can you remember the, uh, the, the, the study, the, the, the very first study in the doctrine of the Bible that dealt with the actual, uh, how, how to actually study the Bible? Remember, we talked about the text and the, the context, and we talked about the, the greater uh, context, okay? Uh, if you can look at that and just kind of, you, you need to know these three things, right? You need to know these three things uh, and just kind of elaborate slightly on it. The other thing that is, uh, that is really important is the study on the doctrine of man, uh, the study of uh, anthropology, uh, when we discussed body, soul, and spirit. Do you remember that one? Yeah. We discussed, discussed that one last month. Uh, you also need to know uh, what that is. Uh, give up a, a briefing on each, but what, what, what it is, and you, you need to have. For example, uh, under under this say under under body, body was the world conscious conscious part, and and you'll remember we said that that's what I want. You know, I want to see that in each of them, okay? That world consciousness, that God consciousness, uh, and that uh, well, I think we said it was like self uh, consciousness. You know. <coughs> 
Uh, but these, these are the two things that I, I want you to look at in regard to your test. Uh, next. Can I just ask? Yes, yes, go ahead. Yeah, you see is that study of the document, the Bible text and words, what you see uh, it's, uh, we, we, we looked at text, context, and greater context. Uh, yes. the, the, this is how this is how one stud is one studies the Bible. It's a it's an easy way to study the Bible. Uh, just to, again to clarify, it's like you get your text, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, like for example, uh, John three sixteen for God so loved the world. Right, but then you've got the context of that text of that scripture, so you look at what that chapter is actually saying on that, and then you've got the greater context, which is what does the rest of the Bible have to say on this? Okay, and that's that's just another example. So. Uh, again, thank you all so very much. And uh, you know wh whether whether you're uh, wh whether you're actually going for full achievement or participating. If you are participating, you you can try out the test. You know you can try out the test as well. You know if you want, it's up to yourself. Do we aim your this to you? Uh, I think would be what, what you can actually do is uh, I, I would actually rather uh, that you send your copies even if you just send it to Glasgow so, uh, okay. so, send your copies to Glasgow <laughs> if, if for some reason you're, you're actually doing it uh, online you, you can send it to me you know I, I mean I will receive it uh, but I, I would prefer if if the copies are sent to the Glasgow. Okay. You prefer hard copies. Say that again. You prefer hard copies. Yes, yes. The, the, your actual test paper. I would prefer the test paper sent back. Uh, okay. If if that's going to be okay. Is it test paper here? Oh no 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 no. <laughs> no. Test next month. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so so n next month it will be your test for this class. Okay, is is everybody clear with that? Um, no. <laughs> what are you say in the lesson next month? We're going to do no, the test. No, 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 no lesson. There'll be no lesson next month. Next month okay. is, is your is your official uh, test. Okay. Okay. But what I'm saying is that I would actually prefer that when you're doing your test, whoever is actually overseeing uh, your test at the time is that the test papers are actually sent to Glasgow once you've completed oh, yes. them. Okay. Okay, oh, should, yes. What should I say? You said we should give a brief of um, body, soul, and spirit. That's all. Yeah, uh, that and uh, you've got the, the text. How the, to study the Bible. The, these are the two main things. I just study the Bible. Okay. For the test. Okay, say that again. Are we allowed to use a note for the test? Uh, no, you're not allowed to use your notes, but you can use your right. Bible. Oh, I can use my notes, sorry? You can use your Bible. Right, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. Where do we just, get the test papers? Just, just, oh, just, do. just don't be sneaking your notes inside your Bible. <laughs> 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 Right. Where are we actually get test paper from, or where are we going to do the test? Uh, I can't understand. You, you will normally do it at the church, at the home church? Um, yeah, yeah. Two of them, there's, are, three, there's three of them that are at their homes. They're Skyping in from their homes. Three of them are Skyping in from their homes, and the other three are at a church. Right, okay. So, some of them are by the... Uh, right, on so, the so uh, some of you will be on site uh, in, in the church, is that correct? <laughs> And then some of you will be uh, on Skype. Yeah. Okay. For those on Skype, how how do you normally? Is the paper well, sent? Is the paper sent? This is the first time, so I have no idea. Right. Okay. Then. Um. It's just new to us. 
I think normally how we do it is we'll send, we'll mail you a copy of the test in an envelope and ask you not to open it until the day of the test. Right, that's, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, did everybody get that okay? Great, right, yeah. Okay. There, okay. We, there we have it then. Huh. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay then.